Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Kingdom Hearts 3, but this time, it's Kingdom Hearts 3, Remind. Oh, the DLC, the final mix, I'm super excited for it. Oh, 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 I'm, mmm, I'm just like frothing at the map, mouth. Now, I'm just gonna explain a few things. The update, there was a free update that lets you use Oathkeeper and Oblivion. In order to get Oathkeeper, you need to have gotten all of the lucky emblems, and then you get a proof of, I can't remember what it's called. But in order to get Oblivion, you need to beat the game on critical mode. Unfortunately, I have not done that yet. I'm saving that for when I live stream Kingdom Hearts 3, which is gonna be fairly soon, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but also, they updated some of the graphics and some of the way things look in some of the cutscenes here. Uh, more so a few cutscenes in the final world, a couple in the Keyblade Graveyard and the end. They even changed that, but we'll save that for when uh, it pops up. Uh, oh, so yes, guys, we will be doing Remind uh, Orchestra. We can watch the um, visuals from the Orchestra World of Trace tour that they did. Uh, you know, I'm do that on my own time. Slideshow, great movies and photos I have taken. I, I'll probably dabble into that off screen as well. But Remind is definitely what the main focus is. And I believe in order to do the limit episode, you have to beat Remind first. So I'm going to talk about what we all know so far about Remind. So basically what Remind is going to be, it's going to be when Sora went back in time to, I believe, I know for sure it's to go rescue Kairi. We'll see what happened to him after, you know, the end of the game. But I think we're also going back to before that, when everyone got sucked up into the big Heartless Tornado. We're going to go back to see how Sora helped out to bring all of them back. And I, you know what, let's not even, let's not even think about it. Let's just dive right into it. So I believe the one I want to bring with me is this one. Because this is the one that has Oathkeeper in it. So let's bring this one in. So I have Oathkeeper with me right away. Oh, a little charm in the hopes that we'll never be a part. Oh my god! Oh, I, lo I love these Instagram things. And this is definitely a new one. Oh god, I my heart's already aching. I already tested out Oathkeeper and a few new things. They gave us new abilities as well. Ooh, I'm super excited to test them all out in this for you guys. Let's go. May your heart be your guiding key. Picture this. Huh? A black goat stashes away a letter, then orders a white goat to search for it. What could his intentions possibly be? Great! A riddle! Just what I need! There are many possibilities. Perhaps he forgot where it's hidden. Or he's playing a prank. Or the letter has truly gone missing. I can think of several reasons offhand. Guessing is simply useless. Well... Then just follow your orders, plain and simple. Yes, that's what I've always done. I follow the orders from above, without question. However, I sometimes can't help but read into my opponent's strategy. <laughs> Too long on the job? If the contents of the box are so unknown, why is it of such critical importance to the organization? Furthermore, was it Xehanort or Xemnas who gave the order? Well, it's tricky. All Xehanort cares about is the clash between the Seven Lights and Thirteen Darknesses. It's unlikely he would hold such an interest in this mysterious box. Which means, the order was issued by Xemnas, or the one who informed me of my task, you. As if. It must have been Xemnas. My inquiries suggested otherwise. Oh man, you asked him. What are your intentions? 
Look, I don't know what's inside the box, but it's been protected by Keyblade wielders since way back when. Aren't you curious? I heard it contains information that's vital to all Keyblade wielders. Secrets. And where did you hear this? Hmm, I don't remember. I keep my eyes and ears wide open, but I've traveled so many different places, it's hard to keep everything straight, you know? If this box is truly as important as you say, why now? I believe you discovered that others also seek it, and you need to find it before anyone else does. In order to keep your connection to the box a secret from those around you. <laughs> Zigbar, who are you really? <sighs> <laughs> no matter. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's all the same. I'm content to feign ignorance. The question is, who are you, Luxord? It's finally over. Hmm. Hey. No. We'll find Kyrie. Let's head back to Master Yen Sid. We can figure it out. No. I know what to do. Sora. My whole journey began the day I lost her. And every time I find her, she slips away again. I thought we'd finally be together, but she's out there, alone. Not for one more second. Where'd you go? That's right. Thank you, Donald, Goofy. But this time, I have to go it alone. Sora, listen. The power of waking isn't to go chase hearts around. Even if you do locate Kyrie, you might never come home to us again. I will. And we'll both be back before you know it. Please. Let him go, Mickey. Riku. His heart and his mind are made up. Now believe in him. Yeah. Safe journey, Sora. Thank you. So? Yeah. It wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya. And so, how'd it go? The tour.
I learned the reason for my existence. Oh! Tell me more. All around the world, people live seemingly peaceful lives. They believe themselves to be moral and virtuous, but it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. Sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes, but you got a little bit more than you anticipated. You must have seen a lot of darkness. Those who are weak, and who desire greater power, simply strip the strong of their power and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. They repeat this cycle, and their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their actions to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide? No. It's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. They are but sheep pretending to be wolves. Though I admit, I can understand why. Oh, I've never heard that one before. A Keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? Because left alone, the world would fall to chaos. There needs to be order. You sure about that? Why not just sit back and watch it play out? Understanding hearts is difficult. More so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. All right, all right. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So, you can make a change. You have that power. What do you want for the world? Power, eh? Who knows? My training's coming to an end, and the exam's not far off. Maybe I can gain some clarity then. You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. <sighs> it's funny. Somehow. I can sense where I'm supposed to go, and what I'm supposed to do. Yes, even this coat, there's something familiar about it, as if I'm meant to wear this. Hmm. No, you'll ditch it soon. What do you mean? I mean that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old coat to stay safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me, on the other hand, I'm too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. Who are you really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist, or even a scholar. I could tell you that I dream of world peace when I'm actually planning for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. So, your name? What did I just... Never mind. I guess there's no harm. My name is...
I'm a lost master. Lost master? May your heart be your guiding key. <laughs> but so funny, old man. Mind sharing with us? I stand here today because of a fated encounter. Very many years ago, when I was still a young lad, I never learned who he was, and perhaps I never will. But I see now the truth he spoke of. <sighs> we don't have time for bedtime stories. Without the kid, we're still down a 13th vessel. And as for the other 12, only three of us are here right now. Are you absolutely sure the others made their way back to their respective times? Hmm. Hmm. Marluxia and Larxene are both here in this time, attempting to locate the new Seven Hearts. Luxerd is also somewhere about in this age, but after our last meeting, he went in search of something per your order. Isn't that so? Huh. Oh, that. Right. Well, let's just say that what he's doing will benefit us in the long run. But it's really of no importance right this second. Go on. Playing your cards close as usual. Hmm. All right. The hearts of Ansem, Zemnus, Venitas, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort returned to where they came from and reassembled once more. Each of them is seeking a Guardian of Light. So, the ones who turn human, and then back again into nobodies are... Me, you, Luxord, Marluxia, and Larxene, that's five. The ones from the past transferred into replicas are Ansem, Zemnus, Vanitas, Riku Replica, and the old man's younger self. Then we add the old man in, the total comes up to... 11. I think we're still missing two. Now we must discuss... why we have assembled here today. My incarnations from past times, vessels into which I transferred my heart, my essence, were destroyed. Thus I was restored to what you see now. For one to completely disappear, their heart and body must be restored to their original form. That is one reason why I distributed my heart into several vessels. Ansem and Zemnis originated from Terra, or rather his young form, and it too was restored. However, my heart has returned to me, while his is yet lost. I decided to fill this hollow vessel with my heart. Indeed, the very same heart that previously resided within young Terra. So that makes twelve. Then, who do we get to replace the kid? Twenty replicas were created by Vexen. The first twelve were nothing more than puppets, barely human. 
The prototype model was the Riku replica, and then number I was made. That leaves us with six. Ansem, Xemnas, Venetus, Riku replica, and young Xehanort's hearts. Five vessels, one left. Vex and Endemics are candidates, but backups at best. The plan for the last replica is to give it a heart that is connected to Sora's. Connected to Sora? Anyone in mind? The second prototype that was created, number I. Though erased from memory, it remained in Vexen's records. Its existence is greatly linked to Sora's memories, and thus should prove to be more than adequate for our needs. Number I. An imaginary number. How fitting. While young Xehanort is occupied with transferring hearts, I must go fulfill my duty. I will go and retrieve Vexen. Reliable as always. It sounds to me like you've got everything dependably under control. Well, I'm off to do my part. The plan, as we agreed upon. May your heart be your guiding key. This is... Oh. Chirithi! Back so soon? <sighs> What's wrong? Well... Even with the power of waking, you can't just bring someone back. But Kyrie's heart hasn't been lost yet. She's still with us, right? Maybe, but this time, I'm afraid the situation is a lot worse. Hey, I've already restored six hearts. What's one more? But that's not how it's supposed to work at all. The power of waking is meant to be used to wake and restore sleeping hearts. Not to restore them after they've completely faded away from existence. You've done that six times before, and as a result, you've managed to greatly alter the course of history itself. You've broken a nature taboo. Nature... A forbidden act. Break a taboo of nature, and you'll end up paying an extraordinary price. Oh. I've heard that before. So, what's the price? You'll lose your powers. You won't be able to use the power of waking. That's all? No problem. But that's not all. You yourself will vanish from this world. And without your powers, you can't return to the world you came from. Hmm. I don't care. What? There's a lot I don't understand. But I know that this is all I can do right now. I have to do everything I can to get Kyrie back. That's the whole reason behind my journey. <sighs> I can't stop you, can I? <laughs> nope. I have to follow my heart. Hmm. <sighs> 
Well, then this really is goodbye. So listen carefully to me. Hmm. You'll return to the past again. But you won't be able to rewrite it this time. No matter what happens, you have to accept it and move on. Okay, okay. Very, very heavy with some cutscenes at the beginning there. Let's talk about a few things. First things first. Okay. Lu Luxord knowing about Zigbar and his connection to the box somehow. Obviously, we all know that Zigbar is Lushu, who was, you know, traveling through past and, time, past and such and such. We have young Xanard who messed the Master Masters. And, of course, when he was about to say his name, of course, they bleeped it out or, you know, they did a thing where we can't hear it. I think that happened before the chess game that Xanort and uh, Ericus played. I believe that happened beforehand. Because, you know, he mentioned the Lost Masters. And when he was saying Lost Masters to the Master Masters, he sounded like, I never heard of them before. So he's like, okay, now maybe, you know, that's why he brought it up. The next scene. Unfortunately, yes, Rupert Heger, I believe that was his last name. He passed away. He was the voice of Master Xehanort in the main game of Kingdom Hearts 3. And obviously he passed away before he was able to film these lines. I He sounds like Cl Christopher Lloyd to me for some odd reason. And I think that would be a good fit. I, I'm okay with it. You know, it sounds like Christopher Lloyd to me. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm playing King's Quest. And, that sounds like, and that's Christopher Lloyd playing old Graham. And it sounds similar to him in some ways. We'll see in the credits. We'll see who voiced him in. Oh, man, this is so sad. Like, we're on our third Xehanort. No, it's not that, but, like, Rupert Haggard was okay with it. Yeah, he was a little, like, he he's no Leonard Nimoy. Unfortunately, no one could really replace him, but Rupert Haggard did an okay job, and now, hopefully, if this is Christopher Lloyd or whoever this is, he does a good job, too. Um, now, Sora, okay, so I think what's going on here now with Sora is we're going to go back in time to when... Before we, because there is, there was a cutscene in the trailer that kind of explained like, oh, this is why Aqua didn't really fight back, because this is what he saw. So I'm quite curious to know um, what, how that's all going to be entailed. I'm, o I'm also glad they kind of explained. Okay, they, they, uh, Nomura said that they would explain Shion coming back into existence, and that that cutscene with you know, uh, Syax and uh, Zigbar and Master Xehanort and him explain all that. I'm glad they kind of explained that. I think that was really nice uh, of them doing that. Uh, what else here? Um, uh, I honestly, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head right here. That's really um thing, but yeah. Uh, I'll mention this. <laughs> they announced a new Kingdom Hearts mobile game that's for now called Project Xehanort, which will delve into why, uh, how Xehanort became a seeker of darkness. So... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh, oh, so, hold on. So, quick, so here are the new moves that we have. We have Quick Step, uh, Flash Step, ra 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 Radial Blaster, Aerial Sweep, and I believe Aerial Dive, and then Last Chance right here was all the new, uh, abilities they gave us, and they're all fantastic. And now, I freaking love that objective, get Kyrie back. Equipment! I, we have Oath, we have our big boy ultimate weapon ever after, and we have Oath Keeper. Uh, as you see, light form and dark form. OKP. Okay, um, I already did. I already checked all that stuff out. Let's check out the gummy phone uh, photo album. Yeah, you know everything's you know as one of. Oh my guys, uh, that photo! I think that's hilarious. Um, yeah, everything's still here. So I'm. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's just go for it. Let's do this. Are you ready to close the menu and turn to the action? I mean, it hasn't really been action. It's all been cutscenes. But if there's more cutscenes, oh boy, let's do this. Is everybody okay? The heart you have now, it already on, existed during that time. It went back into that past earlier. Nothing can change that fact. The place where you'll return is the tear in the fabric of time that was created when you changed your destiny, then changed it once again. In order to not stray too far from the true power of waking, you'll enter and pass through the hearts of the guardians 
until you reach Kyrie's heart. Every emotion that each of the Guardians felt. Sadness, anxiety, fear, kindness. Everything they saw, and everything that they felt then, you'll clear a way through it, traverse across their hearts, and dive ever deeper inside. I can't be sure what's waiting for you at the end. Or what you'll Today actually be able to do. But by following the connection of hearts, what? you'll come to discover you a greater truth. One that's Every sure to help you. you will be torn heart from body. But, in but this flow of time in the past, you'll the only have up until the moment you left for this place. So you'll have to find and You're restore Kyrie's heart you. before then. That's all the advice I can give you. Beyond that, I can only say, may your heart be your guiding key. <laughs> this is Ven's heart. Are you darkness Vanitas Okay, darkness. It defeat dark. Defeat dark inferno key. Let's do this, asshole. Okay, so darkness. If you guys, like I said, darkness is in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. He was the one showing around. So here's Light Form! So here's Light Form. There's a shot lock, which is pretty cool. You, and when you go into the second phase or second form of um, Old Keeper and both for Oblivion as well, you get both of them. You dual wield. Um, but anyway, darkness is from Union Cross, so if that's darkness... Oh boy! He sure gain his revenge! I also did not level up the Keyblade, obviously, so this is a low-level Keyblade.
That's it! What? Is this Aqua's heart? Ven's heart was so peaceful. But this, this is fear. This can't be real. Huh? Pull it together, Sora. We haven't lost them. They still have their hearts. But we have to protect them. Right! <laughs> we stand together. Hmm. <clears throat> Mickey! Kairi, Goofy, watch the others. No! We should all get to safety while we still can! It's too late for that. So, this is the fear and despair that Aqua feels. And now, I feel it too.
Oh my god, it's Zodiac Phantom Aqua! It's Zodiac Phantom Aqua! Oh my god, it is! We can't I can't hit her just like the regular Zodiac Aqua. It's over. Also, I forgot to mention like okay. Charity mentioning the price to pay for um uh, ooh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. The price that uh Sora had to go through in order to um bring Kyrie back was obviously the power of waking. And without end can I say I freaking love this boss? This boss music is fantastic. Gotcha, bitch. Woo! Zodiac Phantom Aqua, you ain't got nothing on me. I'm kidding, of course. That was not. Aqua! Tara! Zen! Tara! We found you! Tara, please say you're in there. What gives, Aqua? I know that you're not him. Now let our friend go! Did I... Did I pass through the tear? Oh. Sora? Namine? What are you doing here? Have you lost yourself, like I did? Well, it's a long story. But tell me, why haven't you returned to Kairi's heart yet? He is their 13th! Today is the day you all lose. What? Before you even face the 13, every last one of you will be torn heart from body. But fear not. The Keyblade will still be forged. Because I'm still not able to. But, I'm calling out to Tara's heart, and I brought him here. Tara? No. Tara's heart is too steeped in darkness. Instead, I've brought out Tara's most personal and powerful thoughts. This is Tara's sadness, anger, lament. Tara's thoughts? We're not going to lose to you. <laughs> Who are you? Got you. 
ذهنو تارا This is impossible How I've waited for this moment Wretched spirit. As long as Master Xehanort resides within you, you're a threat to Aqua and Ven. Hm. How noble. You would give your life for theirs? You must be removed from existence. At all costs. Domine, can you call out to Terra? No, his rage is too strong. He won't respond to me. No matter who gets hurt, it's bad for Terra. Either way, you have to leave. Go to the world of ocean and sky. And you? I got this. <laughs> Be gone! I can travel to different times too, you know. Did you think you were the only one with that power? You dare. Seeing that you have also taken the Forbidden Path, you too must be ready to make the ultimate sacrifice. Damn it, I was really hoping we'd get to play as Blinker and Will! Holy shit! Back at you! Wait, holy shit, when he just flat out destroyed his helmet! Enjoy. 
Why do I forget that I can glide? Fuck you, I'm trying to dodge! Actually, I'm trying to block. Here we go! Double form! Ah, oh, damn it, I just wanted to do this. Dude, this bitch is pretty cool. Damn, the lingering will. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, oh, but yeah, but no, the freaking, um, the freaking, um, ah, uh, DLC, <laughs> but the freaking, um, remind, um, The fight that he had. Oh god, I wish you could play as Lingering Will. That would have been so much better. Oh shit. Coat that wards off darkness. Black coat worn by members of our organization said to ward off the corruption that permeates the dark corridors. It said that Xehanort in his younger years retrieved the coat from a man claiming to be one of the lost masters, but its original remains shrouded in mystery. On another note, it seems that the armor worn by the apparent entities of Ericus, Ericus possessed the same effect. Okay. Mark of Mastery Examination. Examination that accomplishes Keyblade wielders must take to achieve the rank of Master. The contents of the exam are not set and are determined by the mentor who administers it. The objective of Sora and Riku's exam was to gain the power of waking in the sleeping worlds. It was through that completing this challenge that Riku became a Master. Okay. Though she was welcomed to the organization as its 14th member, Shion was ironically given an imaginary number during the replica program. Thus, after she was marked with the X of the Resurgent Sigil, the name Xion was given to her as an anagram of X and number I. A divergence in the fabric of time that occurred when Sora used the power of waking to overwrite the timeline of defeat. When this phenomenon came into being, a new world without defeat was born, creating two contradictionary histories within the same timeline. Yep, yeah, I'm just learning all about that there bad stuff. Xehanort, during a, during a train journey in preparation for his Mark Master exam, a certain Keyblade wielder was given a coat that wards off darkness from a mysterious figure. A mysterious figure shrouded in a hood black coat, aside from his claim that he is one of the lost masters, not much else is known about him. Neato! Adversaries, heartless. Dark Inferno, key. The darkness that ripped out vents his heart and turned to aggressive heartless. But the voice that was heard at the time imitated that it was darkness itself. What did it mean? Where's the actual... Uh... Um... Fuck. I, uh, I forgot. Dark Inferno. Where's the actual Dark Inferno? 
I wish it showed up in here. Oh, there it is. I defeated it five times. So Okay, so the difference is that it's really golden and such. So I think it's pretty cool, though. Battle on that. This actually looks pretty cool. Alrighty. Okay, guys. I think this is a good place to end this first video. I know it was more so cutscenes than anything, and we only really got to go into the... Oh, they won't even let you synthesize. Oh, yeah, yeah they will. Uh, Keyblade Forge. Can I level up the Keyblade? Where is it? Where are you? There you are. Um, I'll just level up this bad boy. Don't worry, I'm going to do... Obviously, whenever... Wait, I like the material. Oh, I need a dumbass kiss. Ah, damn it. Ah, well. But don't worry, I'm actually going to do that on my proud file. Yeah. And then, you know, I will probably carry that over with my critical file. Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to do for this first part of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC. In the next part, guys, we will, I guess, oh, what's the objective? Uh, still get Kyrie back, but we will continue on through this. It uh, looks like we're going to be... Let's see. It looks like... Uh, yep, we're going to be with Zemnis. Or not Zemnis, Ansem. We're going to be playing as Riku. Yay. All right. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button. Hey, click. Comment down below. Check about the video. If you like about the video, let me know. What do you guys think of the DLC so far? Have you guys picked it up? And uh, what's been... I Granted, we've only been doing three fights, but... I really like this, uh, the new scenes that they've added in this so far. They're really nice. I wish there was a way that, you know, they implemented it into the main game. But, eh, who knows. I, I like this on itself as well. So, but, yeah, so, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. So, as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RPG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.